open out the door is Kevin, and in the middle today is Dave. He's been working with our male tiger, Sasha. Before we get started, if you guys have any questions, we just ask you please hold up to the end of the training session. When Dave and Sasha are finished up, the three of us will make ourselves available to answer any questions you all may have. Sasha's a nine-year-old male of Ward Tiger. Uh, you can see he stands about seven and a half to eight feet tall on his rear legs, and he weighs about 350 pounds. He came to us from a zoo in upstate New York called the Seneca Park Zoo. That was about a year and a half ago. However, he was originally born at the Henry Dorley Zoo, which is in Omaha, Nebraska. He's one of two tigers here at the exhibit. The other is our female named Marietta. We call her Edna for short. She's off exhibit today. She's a six-year-old female. She came here about a year ago from uh, the Henry Viola Zoo, which is in Madison, Wisconsin. But uh, she was actually born in the Denver Zoo up in Denver, Colorado. These cats are rotated every day, so today is Sasha's turn to be on exhibit. Tomorrow we'll bring Edna back outside and we'll continue that rotation. These cats are naturally solitary. They're going to live most of their lives apart, usually only coming together to breed. And so we kind of simulate that here at the zoo. And what you guys are going to see today is a training demonstration. Dave's going to be asking Sasha for several different kinds of behaviors, most of which are geared towards husbandry. And what that means is most of the behaviors you're going to see are done to better take care of the cat. We saw just a minute ago Dave asking Sasha for both his paws. And when Sasha presented his paws up to the nest, Dave was desensitizing his pads of his feet by Roll touching them with the stick. Roll over. However, some behaviors are a little more for fun, such as this one. Sasha's going to roll over for you. Wow. On occasion, we'll have uh, two trainers working the same animal, uh, one trainer at a different location. And uh, we'll do what we call a recall behavior, where Sasha will go from one trainer to the other. Get some a little bit of exercise and allows people in the upper viewing area to get a good look at the cat. Five. No. No. Sasha. The type of training we do is called operant conditioning. It's a form of positive Five. reinforcement no. where we shape and capture different behaviors and put them on cue. You know. Five. Five. The whistle you hear Dave blowing is what we call a secondary reinforcer or a bridge. The primary reinforcer is the food, of which Sasha receives 13 pounds a day. So when Sasha hears that whistle blown, he'll usually receive a piece of food. It's also a release from the behavior that he was doing. You saw Sasha present his left shoulder to the mesh right there. That's also a very important behavior for us. He was actually able to receive his vaccinations this last year in his shoulder. Shoulder. And we actually desensitize him to taking injections into both no. his left and right shoulder. Shoulder. Should we need to do an anesthetic no. or any kind of vaccination? No. Shoulder. You can see he presents his right shoulder to the mesh. Sasha does know his left from his right. Good boy. The Amur tiger was also called the uh, Siberian tiger, but their name has been changed more recently to better clarify where these animals are found. They come from the Amur River Valley, which is mainly in southeastern Russia. There's about 500 of these cats left in the wild today, and about that many in zoos throughout the entire world. About 150 of those are in North America, so we're pretty fortunate to have the two cats here we do. These are one of five subspecies of tiger, another one of which, the Sumatran tiger, can be found down in the islands exhibit in the entrance of the zoo. The South China tiger is now believed to be basically extinct out in the wild. It can be found only in Chinese zoos, so the numbers of these animals will soon come down to four subspecies remaining. You see Sasha standing on his hind legs right now. That's a very beneficial behavior for us as well. Dave's able to get a good look at Sasha's chest and his abdomen, and also the pads of his feet. I mentioned Sasha gets 13 pounds of meat a day, and it receives nine. It's mainly horse meat. On occasion, we will substitute beef. Uh, they've also been given venison and rabbit from time to time. We've also tried some stuff such as fish as well. But uh, the majority of their diet consists of horse meat. In the wild, their main prey is going to be deer and wild boar. These animals are ambush predators, so they're going to attack most of their prey from behind. Boy. Looks like Dave and Sasha are just about finished up, so I'm going to stop the microphone. If you guys have any questions, the three of us would be happy to answer those for you. And thank you very much. Enjoy the rest of your day.